Hey, what's up, guys? If you don't know me already, I'm Benji, and on this channel, we make videos in English for English learners. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the most common food vocabulary you're going to need when you travel to an English speaking country. Without any further ado, let's get right into the video. So here are some words you'll need when you go to a restaurant. An appetizer. An appetizer is the small dish that you get before your meal. This could be something like spinach dip or chips and salsa. Then you'll have the main dish or the main course. This is the main dish that you eat, the biggest dish that you eat. This could be a steak with potatoes or tacos, but it's the biggest part of the meal. Then there's a side dish, which is a tiny dish of food that comes with the main dish. This could be some broccoli or a soup or a salad. Then you have dessert. This is what is normally sweet that you have after the meal. This could be a piece of cake or pie or ice cream. Now, when you look at the menu, you'll see the word beverages. Beverages are drinks. Beverage is a synonym for the word drink. So beverages are like water, juice, beer, wine, whatever. And cutlery, if you see the word cutlery, it basically means all of your utensils you use to eat, such as a spoon, a knife, and a fork. Now let's move on to some vocabulary you'll need if you have specific dietary needs. So a vegetarian. This is somebody who does not eat meat. However, usually they eat eggs and drink milk, from what I understand. Vegans, however, eat no meats and no animal products in general. So they won't eat eggs, milk, etc. You might see the word gluten-free, which means food that does not contain gluten, a protein found in wheat, barley, and rye. Dairy-free, this means that it does not contain any dairy products such as milk, butter, etc. Halal, which means that it's food prepared with the dietary standards of Islamic law. Kosher, this is like halal but for Jewish people. It's prepared according to the Jewish dietary laws. Now let's talk about some verbs that you'll need to know if you ever get into the kitchen yourself. Number one, to cook. This is a general term, which means preparing food by using heat. For example, I'm going to cook a steak. I'm going to cook an egg. Number two, to bake. This means to cook food in an oven. For example, I'm going to bake a cake. I'm going to bake a pie. Number three, to fry. This means to cook or prepare food in hot oil. For example, you fry french fries or you fry chicken nuggets. To grill. This means to cook something over an open flame. This is a grill. So you can grill a steak or you can grill chicken breast. And to season means to add salt, pepper, or other condiments, other seasonings to a food. Now, let's go over some important vegetables that you need to know. Onions, onions, onions. Peppers, peppers is a general term. A jalapeno is a pepper, and so is a bell pepper. It's a general term. Potatoes, potatoes, potatoes. Carrots, carrots, carrots. Broccoli. Broccoli, broccoli, mushrooms, mushrooms, mushrooms. And lastly, Brussels sprouts, 
Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts. Now, what about fruits? Let's see how we say certain fruits in English. Banana. 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 Apple. 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 Grape. 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 Orange. 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 Lemon. 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 Tomato. 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 Watermelon. 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 Mango. 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 And lastly, pineapple. 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 Lastly, let's go over the most important meats that you need to know. Beef. Beef. This is a general term, a general word, which means a meat from a cow. So it could be steaks or it could be hamburger. That's beef. Both are beef. Chicken. Chicken or poultry is this guy. And that can be chicken nuggets, chicken breast, or a rotisserie chicken. <laughs> Turkey. A very common meat to have at celebrations in the United States. Pork. Pork refers to any meat which is taken from a pig. Bacon, for example. And fish. A general term which means any type of fish meat, whether it's salmon or tilapia. I hope that this tiny video helped you learn some super important food vocabulary in the English language. As always, it was a pleasure speaking with you. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.